Uh, let me see if I can get the background. <laughs> see if I can get the background audio just to go down a little bit. There we go, that's a bit better. Oh, so in the last video I, I started fighting this creature. Virginia, I think it, she's called in the game. Alright, so those baby creature things are, are coming at me. And I only have a certain amount of dynamite! I don't know if it's accumulative damage. Like I've said that before, I don't know if that's a, if that's a thing. If it is, I can just keep running out of like this, but I don't know. For, uh, for my health to go up to full, and I'll try running at it with the, this little makeshift flamethrower. You bitch. Come get some. Bye. Who's running from who now? Oh my god, I killed her. With a <laughs> with a with a can of hairspray. <laughs> oh my god, I killed him with a can of hairspray. <laughs> what of all the things I've I've hacked at it with a katana, hacked at it with an axe. I wasted all my arrows on the bloody thing, and that's what killed it. A lighter and hairspray. Ah, oh, fair enough. Whatever. I I'll go with it. I I don't care. I'm happy. I beat the bloody thing. So, I assume all of its brood uh, died off with it. I think. Right. Yes. 
Great. Now then. I can actually introduce I can actually put an intro to this video now properly. Hey, welcome back to the forest. Uh what you just witnessed was me uh throwing myself against the boss. Uh, one of the I think it's like the final boss or something. Uh Virginia, I read up. Uh somewhere. The name was like Virginia, or at least that type of bat uh, that type of creature was Virginia or something like that. Um well, I think that was the daughter of a doctor that worked in the lab, um, and she became one of the monsters. That's like the human body there, and she sort of mutated into a monster. But anyway, let's see what was past that point. Uh, I managed to get some. I managed to get ten arrows back from the body, so that's good. This is where she was. I don't know what to do beyond that. Uh, okay. Dude, do I have to take the body back, I wonder? I wonder. Yeah, okay. Now I have to take the body back. Ah, there we go. That's what that's for. Live sample required. Find a live sacrifice. Okay, it's the second arc. The fact. No idea why uh, what this entails. Guessing it's similar to that one back there somehow. Oh, okay, there's a little hole here. Okay, so I don't have the thing to climb walls, so if I jump down there, I'm not getting back up, I don't think. In for a penny, in for a pound.
What the? Creatures down there moving, I think. I think I can see some one or two things moving anyway. Rappel down. So, there's nothing really down here. I don't... Th it doesn't look like it anyway. Alright, let's continue into the cave, I guess. Nothing down here. Well, there's gonna be some kind of big reveal in the center or something I have to press or something. But nope. Just a whole lot of nada. What am I doing? I got flares. I did have flares. Kind of useless here then. Alright. I was going to say, I get a feel like I'm going to need the bow, and I turn the corner, and this is what I'm greeted with. Yeah, bow's a good choice. <whistles> Not a fan of their art.
How are you doing? I'll just take two minutes to sit down. Have a breather. Been through a lot. I went in there, heard a growl, was like, nope. Not even gonna chance it at this point. Oh, you can open that. Alright, you can't. So I am surviving the last act of this game purely through Mars Bars and Fanta. And the occasional dried lizard. This is what an action movie, like a survival action movie, survival action horror movie would look like if Bear Grylls was the main guy. Oh god, that is bright. Where is this? Is this outside? Is this outside? Where are we? Is this part of like an unfin- this is part of the unfinished game. It's kind of broken. Because it's snowing up here, so I assume I'm in the- up in the mountains, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Those snow effects are shite. Okay. Weird generator pulsing menacingly above me. Three matches identified. Ah, oh, okay, so... This is the thing that brought down the plane at the beginning of the game. So you can either choose to take down the plane or... Shut it down. Why is the emergency shutdown uh, like the monitor resting on an upturned bin and it's in the corner next to random bits of tat? Um. Mm, Alright, I'll go. I'll go from this point on. Unfortunately, I can't go for the old. Um, I don't, don't want to go for the old ending because that's not the main ending. Uh, this is the main ending, so I'm gonna go for this one. And if I have an option later, I will try the alternative ending. But if not, then at least I got the main one, I suppose. That was a whole photo once upon a time, wasn't it? What happened to it?
Oh, he did it. He did it. One year later. This is a one. This is a, like a long one year later sign. My next guest is a TV star, author, and real life plane crash survivor. Here to talk to us about his new book, Rescue, along with his son, Timmy. Please give it up for Eric LeBlanc. Nice to meet you, man. That's one hell of a story. So let's jump right into it. You've written a harrowing tale of survival and adventure with a plane crash. Look, you can see it on the cover. I feel like you're really blurring the lines here between fact and fiction. Oh, is that the axe? Hey, do y'all want a demonstration? Okay, we've got a setup right over here. Come on, don't leave me hanging. Come on, everyone. All of you want to see this too, right? What do you say? Okay, let's chop a tree. Come on, everyone. Yes! All right. Grab Timmy and let's head on over. Watch your step now. I got my axe. Where do you hold this thing? Oh, oh like this? Yeah, that's Here how you go. hold an axe, you moron. He's having a Vietnam flashback. Huh? Is he okay? Alright, so the kid has a seizure. Kid has a seizure similar to uh, what's her name? Megan? Megan Cross? Okay, so... No! Oh, more cutscenes. Okay. Oh, well, that was a brilliant game. I love that. Especially considering I started playing it maybe five years ago now. Yeah, it was about five years ago. 
I started playing it. Whenever it hit early access, I got it in one of the Steam sales. And sort of kept up to date with it. Um, when it was being updated and whatnot, and uh, when it was in early access, and then didn't really play it that much when it was finished. Uh, I thought, because when it was in early access, it was mainly just a survival game. Um, the, the story elements came a lot later. Uh, I have to say, I really did enjoy it. It was really fun. Uh, it was not what I was expecting from a well, from from a game that I remember being quite. Uh, just survival oriented. Like the story first was quite interesting and it's one you have to sort of piece together yourself. So from what I can gather, the company they found some artifacts. Um underground. The company, whatever it's called, Sahara. Sahara Therapeutics moved in um, to sort of experiment on them somehow for some reason. Uh, was it, what do they call it? Longevity? Life longevity? And. Oh uh, yeah, life longevity and. I don't know what else. Something, probably a bunch of other stuff they wanted to research as well. And, and in order to use the one of the machines at least you had to put a live subject so a live child in this case into the machine and something would happen god I, I, I will bring another that's right will bring another child back from the dead uh, and they were testing out and then eventually the child the children coming back from the dead would mutate I think um, and then they become the creatures we saw, like the Armsies and the Virginias and that weird creature I fought in the big hall. And then one eventually, the, one of the Armsies broke out. Then the rest of the cannibals broke out. Overrun the facility. Killed everyone. And I've been higher living in this area ever since. Killing anyone who comes to camp or whatever. So, uh, the guy, and then the daughter, the, the, the Megan Cross dies. The father goes to that machine, brings down the plane that we we're on in the beginning, then kidnaps your kid in order to bring his daughter back. And his daughter turns, well, his daughter is not quite right, kills him with crayons through both eyes. Cheek, neck, ears, mouth, and we, uh, well, we, me, us, kill that creature that she turns into because she somehow knows who we are. I don't know how, but she knows who we are. So we kill that one, we kill her, bring her back. It's incompatible, blah, blah, blah. We bring down another. Yeah, we just bring down like another plane. Okay. That's pretty much up to date. That's pretty much the backstory. <laughs> right up until uh, we kill her. Okay, that was, yeah, that was pretty interesting. I liked it. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed. Please leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of the game, whether you've played it, whether you want to play it. It is available on PC, Xbox One, I believe, and PS4. PS4 being the platform I'm playing it on, but I have played it on PC as well, and it's been great. So I do recommend it to anyone who likes this type of game. I'm not really a big fan of horror, but I loved this one a lot. Thank you all for watching. Uh, yeah, Please remember to leave a like, leave a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button in order to keep up to date with all the walkthroughs I plan on doing in the coming months leading up to Christmas and beyond. I'll see you next time.